Welcome to Microbiology and Human Disease. I am Mustafa Larash, Biological Sciences Instructor and Sciences Program Manager at the Hillsborough Community College South Shore Campus. I am happy to be your instructor throughout this semester in which you'll be introduced to the microbial world and its relationship with the environment and the human body in specific. It will describe microorganisms based on their classification, harmful and beneficial perspectives. It will also analyze microbial genetics and metabolism, as well as the concept of immunity, in which more than 50 infectious diseases are analyzed. You will learn the clinical presentation, pathogenesis, diagnosis, biochemistry, and possible treatments. This course will cover a large amount of material due to the diverse scope of its subject matter. We will work hard together to have the best online learning experience ever. The content of this course will be delivered 100% online. Online classes are often very different than traditional face-to-face -face classes in terms of how the material is presented, the nature of the interaction among class members, and the overall learning experience. Note that both traditional face-to-face -face and online classes provide the same course objectives and learning outcomes. Before proceeding to this course, let's make sure that online courses are right for you. Do you have self-discipline and motivation? Are you able to commit at least four hours a week to this course? Do you have good communication skills and enjoy expressing your ideas in writing? Will you miss the experience of sitting in a classroom? Are you comfortable using computers? If you have answered no to any of these questions, this online course is not right for you, and it is highly recommended that you take one of the traditional face-to-face -face courses offered at the Hillsborough Community College. To begin with, let's discuss the course materials. The course materials are broken down into three units. Within each unit, there are four assigned chapters, which are followed by unit exam. When you click on each chapter, you will find the following links. Week overview and assigned reading. Print and follow the schedule for the assigned chapter. Chapter PowerPoint presentation. After reading the chapter in the text, review the PowerPoint for the main points. Note that it is very important to read the book. Learn smart activities. The homework activities allow you to know your strengths and weaknesses to help you better prepare for the quizzes and the exams. Note that in order to receive the entire 10 points, you need to finish the entire activity. Quizzes. Each chapter quiz consists of 10 multiple choice questions and will relate to textbook assignment, PowerPoint presentations, and lecture material. You will have 20 minutes for each quiz. Note that quizzes must be completed before the due dates. You are also required to watch videos that reinforce the main concept of the chapter assignment. At the bottom of each chapter, please listen to the chapter summary that reinforces the main concept of the chapter assignments. Unit exams. After each four chapters, you will be taking a unit exam that will consist of 50 multiple choices questions that directly relate to the textbook assignments, PowerPoint presentations, and lecture material. You will have 70 minutes for each exam. Each exam will have two or three extra credit questions worth up to six points. Exams must be completed before the due dates. Makeup exams are generally not offered, but might be offered to students with emergencies if they can provide acceptable documentation of the emergency, such as hospital admit slip, etc. The instructor reserves the right to change the format and content of any makeup exams. Before beginning the course, you will need to register for the McGraw-Hill Software Connect. You will use this program directly through Blackboard with all the quizzes, exams, and Learn Smart exercise. So it is very important that you register for this course in Connect. Go to the following link. Click on Register Now. Student registration tutorials are available if you need help. It is very important that you enter your ACC email address to create this McGraw-Hill account. If you already have a McGraw-Hill account, you will be asked for your password and will not be required to create new account. Select from one of the three options. Enter your access code found inside your access card if you purchased the access code from the South Shore Bookstore. 
Click Buy Online to purchase Access Connect Plus, which includes online access to an e-book. Next, you will need to fill out the registration form. Once you have registered, you will be able to access LearnSmart and connect directly from Blackboard. Please pay close attention to the due dates for quizzes, unit exams, and LearnSmart. Again, welcome to Microbiology and Human Disease Online. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or message me through Blackboard.